Joan Allen is an ambitious girl who divides her time between college and real estate. But a modeling career beckons, and Joan says she's learning a great deal at this bikini model search. How to deal with people, how to uh, kind of use psychology on people. Well, for contests, you need to do what um, other people like, what, they, what they're looking for on stage. If you, you know, you learn how to look different ways. So if you're on a photo shoot with someone, you know, you can, you know, put your hair up or down. Very versatile. <laughs> Although she wants to have fun, Joan is really a woman with future plans and lofty goals. I think I'd like to stay with bikinis, but this is just fun for now. If it goes somewhere, that's fine, and uh, hopefully this will help me with future things. Before the winning models are announced, the photographer's competition winds up. It's a photo finish. Dale Ikuda is the judge's favorite poster photographer. He's won a shoot assignment in far off Fiji. Wes Campbell takes top honors, winning both the Calendar Photographer Competition and Swimwear Illustrated Photographer of the Year. Wes will undertake two important location shoots in Brazil and Portugal. It's a sweet victory after five very tiring days. Finally, the moment of truth is at hand. From a determined field of 150 beautiful models from all over the world, the judges have picked the women who will go on to begin their modeling careers with Swimwear Illustrated magazine. Four winners will be announced to the standing room only crowd, including the top winner of this event, Miss Swimwear Illustrated. First, the three semi-finalists for the title of Poster Girl. And the winner from Gulfport, Mississippi, Tiffany Jones. For Tiffany Jones, this is one of the happiest moments in her life. It's here that her modeling career begins. Next up, the judges select for the title of Calendar Girl. Local favorite, Milamar Flores. And the bikini contest winner in the highly competitive 19 and 20 year old age group, Tiffany Jones takes another trophy. And now it's time to present this year's top winner, Miss Swimwear Illustrated, Leia Sarmiento. Sarmiento and three other gorgeous models have taken home the gold at this year's Bikini Jam. These models know that the prizes they have won represent a challenge. This is where the hard work really begins. Cabo San Lucas, the destination for Swimwear Illustrated's next photo adventure. So we got to sleep in today. We got to sleep until 4.30. That's sleeping in? Yeah. I'm so tired. My eyes are completely bloodshot. Sunrise and sunset are the most important times to shoot, so you have to get up and catch the sun. But sometimes it's cloudy and we have to just sit there and wait. It's all ready, nowhere to go. Are <laughs> ready or Sunrise journeys are standard fare on Eugenia photo shoots. But the experience never gets any easier. Oh, wow, are you tired yet? Okay. 
Pam, how long for uh, Joan? Ten minutes? Okay, make it a fast ten. On location, Bob Anderson races against time to get his best shots at the morning sunlight. Now that they're professionals, these models are discovering the reality of their chosen careers. Tiffany Jones, 1993 Eugenia Poster Girl winner, 1993 International Bikini Contest winner, and member of the Eugenia Bikini Team. Joan Allen, 1993 Eugenia Calendar Girl finalist and poster girl. Danielle Sorbo, swimwear illustrated cover model and member of the Eugenia Bikini Team. It's really neat because you could be driving, um, you'll drive in the desert, there's nothing there, and then you'll see all of a sudden you're, you're on the other side, there's a gorgeous ocean where nobody is. Tiffany, you'll be looking down a little bit. Be looking down, be looking down. After lunch, it's back to the beach. Sandy bodies, lots of makeup, windblown hair, and plenty of locations are all part of this Swimwear Illustrated photo shoot. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Nice left towards me. There you go. How many bikinis are in there? About 150. No. Thousands of bikinis. <laughs> Isn't it called spine fish or something? Wow. Oh. I'm waiting for water. I'm waiting for water. Come back on your elbows. Good, good, good. Good. Karen Kohler, Swimwear Illustrated cover model and member of the Eugenia Bikini Team. Tiffany Jones wouldn't trade her new job for anything. It's all worth it, all the trouble you go to, all the hassling, all the nerve-wracking things that happen, you know, it's all worth it because once you get that shot, it's just like, wow, that's me. Finally, after dozens of rolls of film, countless locations, and hundreds of swimsuits, these tired models are about ready to call it a day. Bob Anderson gets in the last word. That's a wrap. There's a great lineup of guests next on 7 when Jennifer Kite hosts Tonight Live, coming up shortly. A five-year-old murder is uncovered, but can the cops pin the crime on their prime suspect who's about to die? It's a murder mystery so real, so chilling, it'll enthrall you like no other. Helen Mirren returns in her acclaimed role in the all-new Prime Suspect 2, Sunday and Monday, 8.30 on 7.